back, welcome back, Hello. welcome back to Date Nights long Matter. Time, no <laughs> long time, no Long time, long time. Took a break for... Much needed break. Obvious reasons, <laughs> parenting, life. Um, yeah. But we're back, we're back, we're excited for season two. We have a lot of exciting episodes planned for this season. Thank you for all the support thus far. Mm-hmm. Uh, thank you for all the subscribers, yeah. all the comments, the thank likes. You, thank you, thank we you. really appreciate you guys. Really do so much. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't. If you're new here, again, this is Date Nights Matter. I'm Tiffany Rose. I'm Anthony. And we just want to talk about all things marriage, relationships, have the healthy, positive conversations. Healthy relationships. Healthy relationships. That's all we want, right? That's it. That's (laughs) it. We want to see more positivity. So that's why we do this if you don't know. Um, but yeah, comment, let us know what you guys want to hear from us in this new season coming up. We have switched the date and time. (laughs) We're now Monday mornings. So look out for the videos every Monday. Um, we'll still be coming out with weekly videos. Crazy. Get a, get a few subscribers. Now you switch up. Don't know how that. Don't know how that. Now it's Monday morning. (laughs) (laughs) Now it's Monday morning. It's crazy. (laughs) I feel like it's better. You start your week off right. Yeah, yeah. Get positivity there in you. you. Start thinking about relationships. Yeah, you get church Sunday, then you'll get exactly. day nights matter. <laughs> exactly. And Bible exactly. study on Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but no, so what are we covering today? So today, we wanted to talk about basically, obviously we've been together for a little while now. For those of you that know us, for those of you that don't, we have been married for five years, coming up next month. Yeah. Five years. It's been, it's gone really fast, honestly. I can't sit here and act like it's been like the longest five years. It it's has. went it really has. fast. And I think it's because we prioritize just staying in the honeymoon phase. Yeah. Which. I still, I am still <laughs> attracted. <laughs> I mean, who could blame Who could blame <laughs> No, I'm kidding. No. But no, I think there's a lot of things that go into it and, you know, we, pri- we have prioritized since the beginning not to, like, just be married yeah. for the sake of being married, but actually have that marriage that we look to that's long-lasting and healthy, once again, having these conversations. So we decided to put together a list of things that have helped us stay in the honeymoon phase, yeah. basically. Um and the last one I want to say is the best one and pretty much the main one that you need. But we're going to go through them all. Let us know what you think. Leave your comments. What has helped you and things like that. But we'll go ahead and get right into it. Yeah, I mean, Start. I, you know, I'm always going to put this in everything, but communication. Of course. I mean, that's been. Of course. <laughs> I mean, but it's been very, we've been having to be very intentional with our communication. And I think, you know, once Kingston came about, it's like we had to take Kingston it to Kingston is our son, for those yeah, of you that know. We had to take it to a whole different <laughs> level and prioritize the communication, but really yeah. hearing each other out, you know, actively yeah. listening, not just mm-hmm. listening to reply and, and being defensive, you know, if you're having a little bit of tension, but truly communicating and hearing yeah. each other. And even if we're on different pages at the end of it, but like I understand you, you understand me, like we're able to move together. Like what just happened? You we know, just got into yeah, an argument yeah, <laughs> before like, be recording, yeah. recording this, and it ends sometimes with just, you know, I understand you, you understand me, we know what we mm-hmm. both want moving forward, let's leave it at that, yeah. and that's okay as long as, you as know. As long as you're moving forward together. As long, yeah, and, it's and not we're on the same like, page about what we want, <laughs> you know. It's not just, all right, you know, yeah, like, let, yeah. me, let me just act like I'm listening, but no, you truly acknowledge my feelings, I'm mm-hmm. acknowledging your feelings. It's like, well, why did that make you feel this way? Well, I'm sorry it did. This wasn't mm-hmm. my intentions. Just really, again, being intentional, I think, with our language. Um, and that comes with, I mean, we kind of, like, to be transparent, yeah, we did really just, like, <laughs> legit. Um, right before just, we pressed the <laughs> Like, legit just had a, had a, had a disagreement. Um, and I think that it always leads to, for us, is having, it turns into, like, a check-in, you know? Because, yeah, and that's what I was going to say, yeah. actually. Like, going into just checking in with each other because I feel like it kind of prevents those mm-hmm. disagreements if you guys know that you're, you know, on the same page yeah. for the most part. And if you're regularly checking in, you can have those conversations and just be open and honest. And it's hard sometimes to just 
hey, this is how I'm feeling. Yeah. Like, just out of nowhere, we're having a good day, you know what I mean? Yeah. But it's necessary to prevent them. But as long as you're communicating regardless, like, the whole point is just to keep communicating. Yeah. And I think, I think nine times out of ten, and that's where I think it's, like, truly, again, actively listening. Mm-hmm. And, and it turns into a check-in because nine times out of ten is something surrounding that. And this one little, you know, misunderstanding may have blown up the situation, yeah. but it might have been something I said last week that you may have let go, or, you know, maybe something I did earlier, or maybe it's just an overall feeling, because, you know, life, life is happening, you yeah. know? And, and that's it. And that's the thing. You start carrying that resentment, and yeah. that's why it's important to do those regular check-ins, mm-hmm. or, you know, at least come to an understanding at the end of the disagreement, the yeah. argument, whatever, um, so that way you don't, it doesn't carry over it keeps mm-hmm. going so then you keep having the same argument i remember we were there for a while you know a long time ago where we were just having the same argument over mm-hmm. and over and over it started with like small different things yeah. that would happen but it always ended up being the same exact argument mm-hmm. and that's when you know it's like okay we're not really working through this we're not actually like i mean being being, being open this. and honest too right mm-hmm. that's that's another point i'll put under the communication because i know for a fact right we're not going to hold our tongues with each other in a respectful way you know it's no need to be mean or, that's the thing know, i don't think we've ever had way. a problem with like not expressing ourselves yeah, like i yeah. do think i think couples sometimes like don't fully say what they're mm-hmm. feeling you know that's a problem. Or, don't do that or just being like don't petty rather than like actually saying like you know what i mean what i feel but exactly. no, i think we've yeah. we've always been like and that's something i appreciate I yeah and that's something i appreciate honestly because not everyone's going to be upfront mm-hmm. and honest about yeah. how they're truly feeling and that's yeah. one thing that i can count on with you and sometimes it may not be delivered in the best <laughs> way you know when we're actually you know having some tension in there but then we both realize mm-hmm. all right Tension is rising. Let's relax a little bit, and then we're actually able to hear each other. And again, in a respectful way, yeah. I think that's the most key. We're not calling each other each other's names ever. It's not yeah. just going back and doing yeah. all of that. It's just literally, all right. I have this opinion. You have this opinion. The only way we're gonna get to the bottom of this, I truly listen to you. Let me not cut you off. Regardless, if you need to look away, if you need to <laughs> put your head down, whatever you need to do to have that conversation. That's that's kind of where my head goes, yeah. you know, when it comes to communication um, and keeping things, you know, spicy yeah, in that honeymoon exactly. phase, full circle, because exactly. it's key. It's key. Exactly. But all right, point number two. Point number two is sharing goals and dreams. Yeah. I think that's something that we're really good with. We always sit down. We did an episode a while back, I think, um, New Year's. And at the beginning of the year, we always set our intentions for the year, our goals for the year. Um, We look back at the previous year, and did we meet the goals that we were hoping for last year? And if not, like, why not? And how can we change that moving forward? So I think, one, just sharing our goals and dreams and being open and honest with that again. And if that changes, that being okay. And again, just talking that out, understanding why that's changed or what we're each doing to get to those goals, but also on an individual level as well. You know, yeah. it can't just be just our goals because we are individuals in this relationship. Exactly. So, you know, obviously with your career goals, my different goals, things like that, like sharing that and we're both on the same page with that and it aligns with our marriage, yeah. you know, like I think I saw this uh, clip and if I can find it, I'll put it down in the description box later. But um, it was just a, a woman saying, like, she's very independent. And how does a man come into her life, you know, if she's independent, she has her own business and all these things. And that's all great. And I think that you can find someone that matches that and is on the same page. But I also think we have to realize that in marriage not just a relationship, but in marriage, your priorities will shift and your marriage also has to be top priority along with the career and the ambitions and all that. So figuring out a way for all of that to connect together and work for both of you and the the dynamic that you guys have, that's key. Oh, yeah. I I think, I think, yeah, for me, I probably can't add too much, but to add something. (laughs) (laughs) Said a lot, no. (laughs) But, um, no, I, I feel like it's just truly being each other's like cheerleader, right? And yeah. I think that's the way I, I view it of supporting each other's 
goals and just dreams or aspirations because you came with goals and dreams before we met right mm -hmm. that we've had to accomplish together and I came with the same and it's like that's there's nothing more fulfilling you know than seeing you achieve and then when we have a win together when it's something we both you know put forth and put work into it and then we achieve that it's I mean it's probably the best feeling ever and I think I said that in an episode before it's like those championship wins it just that feeling of accomplishment it gives you that reassurance that this person's pushing me you know this person's supporting me at the end of the day you're the only person you know that that knows the inside and outs of this problem and helping mm -hmm. them you know come up with the solutions and you know the sleepless nights praying together you know we can we can go down the list but I think truly supporting each other and if those goals kind of how you mentioned if they change right you're still in my corner still about that. and again it goes back to the communication yeah. of like you're still able to be honest and yeah. like uh, I really don't want to do this anymore and yeah. it's like my mind shift I've changed my mind a million times at this point yeah. <laughs> 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 which is okay but yeah you, you're figuring out life together exactly. and I think that's the exactly. whole thing and you know being okay with that yeah that's yeah it. yeah exactly I think the, the support system is huge though yeah. I can't say that enough of just like I think you said it right, being each other's biggest cheerleader. Yeah. No matter where you are. And just, you know, you can ask questions. I feel like sometimes, like, you, you think you, maybe not to ask questions. Or if you're asking too many questions, mm -hmm. they're not supportive. You can ask questions, but there's just a way to go about that. Yeah. And still saying it in a supportive way. Exactly. And one thing I think you've learned since we've been together is celebrating the small wins. Because I yeah. think you're good with celebrating the big wins. Yeah. I'm, all, I'm just sports mentality you know just like all right we gotta do these little things to get to the big game right or get ready for the mm -hmm. season so that's something i've definitely brought i know for you know us is just like all right if you're you know trying to get a job for example when you land an interview we're celebrating that you mm -hmm. know and, and acknowledging that because but the problem with <laughs> anthony though is everything is a small win i walked yeah. to the door after this Oh, our first recording back, and you got crumble at the door. You got issues, so okay, so you can let's calm down too. A bit. <laughs> There's a balance. A There's I, a balance. I, I, I probably, I probably like, listen. I can't get my words. Yeah, because you know it's true. You know you got a problem. Okay. The small you know wins matter though, because I think again, if you're trying to lose thirty pounds, you don't want to celebrate that thirty pounds. You need to celebrate that five pounds. But you don't you need just, to get crumble. you don't need to get crumble. But that's what you do. If you, I'm not trying to lose weight. I'm just saying. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm healthy. <laughs> just got my blood work. I'm just you know saying. I'm saying? Yeah. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Let's go to point number three. So, uh, point, number, point three. number three. You want to go? Okay. <laughs> um, it goes pretty much into this a little bit. Maintaining that individuality. Mm -hmm. um, you want to still work on your personal growth, your personal interests, hobbies, things like that. Like you can't that's just be key. wrapped up into each other. I think no, that's, that's that's so key. Hard sometimes, but it's I think hard, I think it's, it's hard like, for us. I think we're actually like friends. Yeah. <laughs> which should be on this list, but it's not. But I think that's a big thing. I actually when, like you. As a yeah, person, as you a know. person, we're actually friends. Yeah. And how do you treat your friends? You hang out with them. You're talking to yeah. them. Um, you know, you, you still have your goals and you talk to them about it. All those things. You just maintain mm -hmm. that friendship before everything else yeah. on a friendship level. Um, but yeah, and then you balance that time together mm -hmm. and by yourself. No, uh, yeah, that's, can. yeah, take the time to yourself, <laughs> self-care. Yeah. And yeah. I, I think I've said that before as well, where it's like you... Go have your me time, you know, because it's important. That's where we recharge, even if it's a hobby. You know, for me, yeah. I, I still play flag football, and that's my time. It's kind of like playing video yeah, games, for Saturday. example, right? Yeah. We're off season right now. We will be back in a couple of weeks. <laughs> but <laughs> full year, fall, winter, spring, and summer, I'm playing. But, again, that's my outlet. And, yeah. and we have an understanding on that. It's like, yeah, it's a sacrifice to go play on the beach every single Saturday. But at the same it's time. It's such a sacrifice to go play on the beach every single Saturday. <laughs> no, for you. Oh for you. For you to come and watch. <laughs> okay. That's what I'm saying. Because you got to bring peace It's not that bad. We're on the beach. And, like, I mean, it's beautiful. But, no. But, but there yeah, are moments that's yeah. been gloomy yeah. out here in L.A. It's, it's, it's nice oh, summertime. We haven't had now. sun all the time. Hey. I'm, uh, we're paying for something, ain't we? <laughs> So, <laughs> Anthony is the bougiest person you'll ever be. Listen, <laughs> all I'm trying to do is make the point of self care 
going to the gym. Yeah. For me, my oh, hobby yeah. is playing flag football, right? You know, whether it's journaling, whether it's, you know, we read a lot, reading your book at night, I'm reading my book, just time for self yeah. and not just being a parent, not just working, right? But having a hobby as well as working, as well as being a parent, you know, as well as being married, right? Like all those things mm-hmm. matter. It's a balancing them. You know, yeah, and I think them. something that we've done more recently is joining our small groups, mm-hmm. which is something I actually recommend and just having that connection, like I'm in a women's group, you're in a men's group, yeah. you have more small groups, just starting on the small groups for the women, and having that connection to other people, have, you know, just regular friends, mm-hmm. you know, different avenues to go to yeah. so it's not just right here not but bashing, healthy ones sorry not to cut you off but not bashing each other when she's like oh you know we're gonna me and my girls gonna do a brunch oh go have yeah. fun not on a well you're just gonna leave me yeah. here and like yeah. i thought we just, you know what i mean or, oh you go play football every weekend and it's like no but i think there's also a balance because that, sometimes you know? it's like oh i'm going out with my friends all the time yeah and it's like you can't be doing that either yeah. and that's where again prioritizing the marriage and yeah. realizing that things do change you can't Think that you're about to be hanging out with your friends like you were when you no. were single. That just doesn't no. doesn't and, add up. It doesn't add up. And there's gonna be moments where the individuality is is kind of put at a standstill as well. Like for yeah, example, we are when, we now. Like, we are we still. Even when it comes to watching a show, right? There are times where I have to sacrifice and watch reality TV because and that's, that's why we're gonna you, watch Love Island. You know, and then there's football season, there's basketball season, there's the playoffs. You know, and you're gonna. I have to watch the playoffs, right? But it's not, again, sitting there like, oh, you know, yeah. I want to watch the playoffs. Like, you get into it, you know what I mean? You can watch it. I get into the reality shows. I'm I'm going to talk about it the entire time, but um, that's a whole other topic. I ain't going to watch Love Island. No, so you can go on too far. Number four. Too far. Two more. We have two more. <laughs> You're going too far. That's the what's, best. What's number four? It was good this, this is perfect. Managing conflicts. <laughs> <laughs> Fighting fair. Yeah. That's key yeah. though. But yeah. I think we did a we did an we, entire episode on fighting fair. Yeah, and we kind of talked about it earlier with not like throwing jabs at each other, being yeah. petty, and bringing up old things and stuff like that. Like, there's yeah. no point because then you're going to argue ruins, for hours. And it ruins and trust. It, Don't yeah, ever forget it does. that. It ruins it trust. Does. You can't allow someone to open up to you and, and to be vulnerable and say, hey, this is why I feel the way I feel. Maybe this happened when I was a child or, you know, this is the way my parents talk to me. So this is how mm-hmm. I know how to talk. And you can't bring that up when it's beneficial to you in that argument. That's just exactly. not okay. It takes away trust. It takes away you being able to open up in the future. And now you're just on guard, mm-hmm. you know, because you're like, all right. Are you going to throw that back Yeah, you're probably going to use that as ammo. And yeah. I ain't going to share nothing with you now, yeah. you know. And then now... Now it's like, are you broken that line where you are friends and you are, you know, able to vibe and have fun with each other? Now it's just relationship, and then you turn into roommates. Exactly. And how family. again? How would you treat just your friend, yeah. someone that you love as a friend, as a person? Would you do that? Probably not. You exactly. know. And if you did, you're probably not a good friend. And so that's the thing is, you have to be the friend that you want as yeah. well. Be nice to each other. We always talk about that. Being nice to one another. Exactly. It's so easy to take. You know your spouse for granted, you know, yeah. because you know that person's there. You know, you get comfortable. Energy. You get very comfortable. Right? You can't get comfortable, and if you find yourself getting comfortable, then you have to break that. All right, what do we need to do to get out of this zone right yeah. here? Like, what, let's switch up our day to day. That's the main thing: switching up the day to day. It's not yeah. just about the date nights, which is great, and we'll get to that in a minute. But it is about the day to day, like not just sticking to the routine sticking to oh a text a call or you know going to work coming back watching tv whatever yeah. you know like really breaking that routine yeah. with each and other. i think for me because it's like you know being at work you know and coming out and sometimes i'm cooking and i and I, I don't know i feel that sense of like all right obviously i wasn't at the house all day so let me chip in but also it's one of those things where it's like you're seeing that and I'm acknowledging that you've had to deal with, you know, our son and you've had to cook and clean and do all these things. And I think it's just those little things as well that you always have to be mindful of because um, you see that, right? And I see that. And you that's, aware. And that's aware. yeah, the awareness yeah. effect. And that's where it really comes into effect. Like, all right, this person truly has my back mm-hmm. and I know they're not going to do anything wrong towards me in an intentional manner. Yeah. Um, so never taking anything intentional as well. I think in arguments has been something I've been practicing. It's like, 
right, you're delivering that, that, that way, right? Because you have your feelings, you're frustrated, whatever you may be feeling. But let me peel in that layer a little bit. You know, let me not take it personal because it never is, mm, you know? Yeah. Um, and I think that's the easy route to take. And then that keeps you, you know, here, right? right? Exactly. But, um, all right, last but point. the last point that we have, and this is, like I said, this is the most important alongside with being each other's friends that you have to have fun together again mm -hmm. with your friend you have fun you go and do new adventure you're spontaneous you're trying new foods you're having well in a relationship in a marriage now you're having those date nights and so that counts as just yeah. going out and having fun together whether it's small or big or bringing something home getting your favorite food ordered in whatever or cooking at home together or whatever it is there's so many different ways that you can have a good time but the most important thing at the end of the day is just having fun together that's how it's going to keep it fun and spicy and keep you in the honeymoon phase and actually liking each other yeah and i think <laughs> for me it's like i mean i'm everyone knows i'm a jokester everyone knows that that knows me personally you know it's cracking a joke always you know bubbly i guess is the best way i could say it but it's like you know delivering that on a daily basis in a sense of like i know you appreciate when i'm not just like ah oh, work was this yeah or, you know like oh we gotta do this this weekend and because it's, like, it's easy to do that and then you is. go around your co-workers or you go around your friends exactly. other friends and being like oh exactly. bubbly and happy and being exactly. real and that's where that communication is like if you are having a bad day open up and talk about that that's exactly. cool that's fine exactly. you know but at least you're talking to me and we can you know be mm -hmm. on the same page at least i'm hearing what's going on about yeah. your day but again it's just showing that you like each other yeah <laughs> full-on full on appreciation and again that's you where it's like, like each other. it's fun to experience new things together yeah. because you like each other you know and again love it only takes you so far you know mm -hmm. you can love someone to death but if you don't like them you're not attracted you're not able to have deep conversations then it's, it's gonna fall to the wayside you know mm -hmm. so i think it's definitely what's kept us just having fun yeah. Like life's too short. I think there's too much craziness going on out here where it's like if I'm not gonna have peace in my house and have fun being able to be my goofy self that I've been all my life, then what are we doing here? Yeah. You're not able to be a goofy self. Free she self. is goofy. That's that's people don't even know how like, goofy you are because you so <laughs> <laughs> you keep it in when we're when we're out and about or keep it in with the camera but like you, this is this one's goofy, like right? <laughs> and that's that's the fun things. I think just us joking with each other. You know, sending something funny while I'm at work, you know, it's anything, right? And it's definitely trickled down because we got a, a jokester as a, as a son, you know, like it's he's just hilarious. He's, like, like he's already funny. a comedian, funny he's guy, funny. You know? but, um, funny. but no, I think that's the key though. Yeah. Having fun, we're dating all the time. Mm -hmm. That's why we say date nights matter. Always date. At the end of the day, date nights matter. <laughs> 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 We're trying to tell you, date nights matter, date nights no, matter, no don't. seriously, but those are our points, that's what's helped us throughout this five year journey of being married, I think, you know, there's a lot that goes into it, but ultimately if you have these five key things basically, you can pretty much maneuver how you need to maneuver in the relationship, but again, just remember to be friends and just have fun. Keep it light. It doesn't have to be so serious. Exactly. Like marriage can be fun if you make it fun. Exactly. But exactly. Remember to tune in again next week. If you are new here, remember to subscribe. Leave us some comments. It really helps us. And let us know what you guys want to talk about. But again, we'll be here next week on Monday.